Okay then, hello there, my name is Bodax and today I'm gonna be making a news video, wow, so um, I should have posted my administrator summons before this video uh, because today was a double upload so I hope that went up first and not this one. But anyways, if this, if the uh, my administrator summons on, are not up yet, then they will be up in a couple of hours, maybe. So yeah, that's that. Um, today, I wanted to talk about some new stuff that, of course, they uh, announced and uh, uh, some posts on Twitter and some stuff like that. You know, the normal stuff that I uh, cover. Uh, so, let's start with. I wanted to start off with the social media campaign update. Uh, we did all the steps, so we will be uh, we will be getting the rewards tomorrow on update day. And you know, tomorrow is a weird day for the update because there is a five what five day uh, between the two uh, the new units. So the new units, um, I never expected these two to release again <laughs> um, before the Leafa came out and I, 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 ho I hoped that we would uh, get Leafa and then after that we would get all the three goddesses uh, in a banner it, like they could have made new banners for them they could have included the like the older versions I don't know but yeah, we have nothing else to do. So uh, this Asuna and this Sinon is basically the... So they're basically the opposite of their uh, older units. Because uh, this Asuna, when her, she came out, she was a light elemental breaker character. Now she's a charger and earth elemental. Of course, this is because uh, the event that came out. I will talk about it in a minute. And now Sinon is the break elemental character and she, she's, she was a charge elemental before uh, in her older uh, character. So yeah, that's pretty weird. Um, so medium on a single enemy, a magic attack medium on a single enemy lowers a magic, a magic resistance uh, by 20% for one turn, incarnate charge by 20%. Of course this will uh, get higher once you like upgrade her skill. Um, and then the, her assault skill is extra strong on a single enemy, raises critical damage of allies by 10% for 2 turns, and uh, weak healing uh, on allies, you know, I don't like those. <laughs> and the magic resistance by 20% for 2 turns, and recovers stun. So that's a very interesting, I think that's the first character that actually can recover you from stun. Well, I don't know, I can't actually remember if we had a character that can remove uh, debuffs, but I don't think we have one yet. So, this is the first one. Uh, and then, uh, the Xenon, uh, magic attack strong on all enemies, lowers attack by 10% for one turn, one turn, I mean, and uh, incarnate break by 50%. 50 so, I like the Xenon better, because she's a, an AoE unit, and... Yeah, that's kind of it. I, and she she's an AOA on her break skill, not on her assault skill. So that's very very good. Um, her assault skill is a magic attack, extra strong on a single enemy, raises critical damage of allies by 10% for two turns. So she's similar to her to her older unit, by the way. And then uh, the the recovery uh, or the Healing is the same, but uh, she gives physical resistance while Asuna gives magic resistance. So that's that. Um, her their arts are very very good in my opinion. I love love her art, their arts, and uh, of course they are ta they are talking about them right here. And uh, so in this banner, the first summon will be 125 diamond cubes. The so we won't get it for free. Of course, but now we will have uh, we'll get a couple of the, uh, diamond cubes from this uh, uh, campaign, so that's pretty nice. 
uh, of course there's nothing new to talk about so this is basically the same banner as every other one uh, before this but with new units of course um, so their rates are 0.75 the old rates so this is a screenshot that I found on reddit about their uh, level 100 uh, arts of course we can uh, see them uh, right here oh it's right here so we can see them right here but it's pretty small so we got a better look at it right here and uh, yeah I mean their arts look pretty nice and the banner art look uh, pretty nice as well so I'm excited to summon uh, I will only do the first summon I'm mainly interested in the arrow by the way <laughs> because I, s I didn't get the original uh, arrow uh, the, for the light amount of one so I'm interested in her arrow uh, now I don't think they will release these exact same weapons because when they uh, released uh, the new I mean the second Alice and the uh, Edith together they didn't release uh, the same weapons uh, as they had of course I just now got stamina on some of the since uh, Grand Cross so yeah play that game uh, so anyways, uh, going forward, the new ranking event, and uh, hoo -hoo -hoo. <laughs> right here, this right here, <laughs> I'm excited about this, so the new reward character, first thing first, the new reward character, um, ooh, now I can't remember her name, uh, but she is an a ALO character, I I'm pretty sure she is. Uh, and uh, I will check her name out a bit later and uh, yeah we'll be able to get her uh, with the tickets that we can get for ranking uh, on a good place for getting a good placement basically so the new characters are of course the bonus characters and we will be able to get some diamond cubes and the Rony limit breaking crystals now that's pretty interesting because in my opinion Maybe the next banner will contain Roni in some kind of way, so we will, might have a new Roni because the last ranking event actually had Asuna Limit Bacon Crystals. Why? Nobody knows. Because we just had an Asuna release before these two, so we don't I don't know so I might have just said the stupidest thing right now or I might just predict the next unit but anyways the Excalibur is finally here so I talked about weapon crafting uh, about two news videos ago so maybe two weeks ago or three maybe or maybe a long a longer time ago I don't know but we ha we can collect these uh, gems to craft four star weapons um, now they talked about uh, crafting them here they only wrote to getting them so I don't know uh, oh so yeah I just wanted to uh, say that I was excited about this because I hope that we would get uh, a, a weapon that would be that can we, you can use by uh, all elementals with all elementals like it would be like a rainbow uh, uh, weapon that would have been great, but you know, it's a water elemental, so I might just use it with Eldry because I don't have a water elemental uh, sword for him yet. So, yeah, um, I'm seeing that the stats are not as good as a summonable weapon stats, so yeah, um. That's the issue with it being a free to play 4 star, but at least we get a free to play 4 star weapon. And uh, basically, they are talking about stuff like uh, now from April, uh, we won't get two uh, free characters uh, in a month. So maybe that will uh, leave us, that will either leave us with more uh, chances to maximum break the newer uh, character. Or they will just replace it with uh, these gems, so we don't know yet. Um, of course, pretty happy about the Excalibur. I don't know why this picture is so low quality, but yeah. <laughs> um, boss tickets will be phased out. Oh, yes, 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 yes. This 
I was waiting for this for such a long time. So we won't need tickets to actually challenge the ranking grand bosses, uh, like we won't have to uh, challenge those, uh, we won't have to farm tickets basically, so that's very nice. Uh, since, um, so yeah, we will use up stamina, okay, that's very good, take all my stamina because I have one, a thousand, or 999. Um, so of course, uh, Earth Samantha characters will get a bonus uh, charge. Uh, you know, at the start of the the boss battle. Um, yeah, of course. Let me check what her name is. Oh, they are not show showing her name. The new free star character's name, so I actually can't check it out yet. So I have actually a uh, video right here. I don't know who, like... This is just like this gem is just okay. So this is the free character. I don't know why they just so showed it there, but this gem is just like moving <laughs> weirdly. <laughs> so maybe this will be uh, some kind of a tutorial, uh, uh, like how what we have to collect to uh, uh, make these weapons. But as you can see, we'll be able to craft all kinds of weapons in the future. So. That's interesting, I'm very excited for that, so let me play this out. Uh, nothing will happen, this will just move into its place and the video will end. So that's that for this video. Um, if I forgot anything, uh, let me know. If you want me to make this beginners, uh, like about the, all the beginner stuff that you can farm down and you can summon for, let me know. Uh, <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's all, I guess. Tomorrow I will be uh, doing my summons on the new units. Now, I won't summon that much because I don't have uh, the most uh, dragon, well, I mean, dragon stones, uh, the most diamond cubes at hand. So I will just do the first summons on both the weapon uh, banner and, uh, and the units. Uh, so I might make a video out of that. It would just be two minutes. So I might just uh, Do a thing like I will summon and then check out the ranking event in the same video that might be a great idea But tomorrow's video I really want to summon for the new Gother that will release in some deadly scenes. So That's what I plan for tomorrow and after that I will release the video that I was just talking about summoning so yeah um, that's all, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, press, uh, press the like, subscribe if you are excited about more uh, SAO stuff, um, I, I'm, I don't know if I want to be hyped about these two, because, you know, I have them both, the normal versions. <laughs> And I just I just wanted to see the Leafa, but I guess they will just uh, release her uh, when the anime anime came uh, will come out. So that might be the end of April or the beginning of May. So that's kind of when the new Leafa will release. So that was it for this video. I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye.